Hi guys, I wanted to talk today about the mind, about manifestation and about controlling the mind and the importance of that. If you don't clear your energy and if you don't clear your mind, you're always going to keep manifesting the same things over and over and over. And something I've come to understand is that what I'm currently experiencing is actually not like in the present moment, what I'm experiencing is the present moment. Yes, but everything that is happening in my present moment is happening as a result of what I've already manifested in the past, because we all know that our manifestations are not um, instantaneous, right? It would be kind of scary if it was. <laughs> it's a good thing that there's a little bit of a delay, because if there wasn't, then, you know, you could have like a terrible thought and imagine like manifesting that right away. That would be so bad, right? So, our manifestations always take a bit of time to show up and they always show up with a with a slight delay. But what that really means is that that slight delay, so that period of time until that manifestation comes in is is something that you've already invested in. It's something that you created in your past. You didn't create that in your present moment. You created that in your past. So what I'm currently experiencing right now in my present moment is what I have created in my past. You know, it's what I created yesterday and the day before and the day before that. And I created my present day today through the thoughts and the feelings that I was having yesterday and the day before and the day before that. And so I'm recognizing that if I don't get my thoughts aligned correctly and if I don't get my energy being aligned correctly, then I'm always going to continue to manifest the same thing for myself over and over and over. And it's not necessarily what I want but it's what I'm creating because we're constantly manifesting. It doesn't matter whether you think you're manifesting or not. You're constantly manifesting through your thoughts, through your feelings. But what are you manifesting? And are you enjoying that? Are you liking that? Or is it in alignment with what you want? Because if it's not, then you got to look at your thoughts and you have to look at your own energy system, your whole entire energy being. That means, you know, your entire aura and like your energy centers where are you blocked up? Because this morning, <laughs> even though, you know, yesterday I was really like pulling myself back up and stuff. I mentioned in a previous video, I think yesterday's video that I had a really rough weekend because my mind was just going crazy with like the negative thoughts and all the bullshit. Um, and then yesterday I was finding myself better. I was, I was in a good, better place mentally. We'll say that not necessarily a good place, but I was in a better place mentally. And then this morning I woke up and I noticed almost immediately as I woke, as I awakened that like my thoughts incessantly wanted to start rushing in. And it was a lot of the same thoughts that I was already having yesterday. And it's like, no, like, I don't want to feel the way I felt yesterday. I want to feel better today, right? Like I felt better yesterday from the previous day because I focused on feeling better. And then now today I want to feel even better than I did yesterday. And then tomorrow I want to feel even better than I did today, right? So in order for me to create this, this gradual movement in the right direction, I have to keep reminding myself that it's my thoughts and my energy that are creating what I'm feeling and how I'm feeling all the time and continuously. So if I don't keep that in check, and if I don't keep that in order, and if I don't keep that in alignment with the things that I actually want, instead of worrying about all the shit that I don't want and, and incessantly thinking about it, then I'm going to keep creating like, you know, if I don't pay attention, then I'm going to keep creating things I don't want. Right. Because we actually give a really significant amount of attention to the things that we don't want. And we keep recycling those things in our minds. And it, it annoys me sometimes that there's people that are out there talking about manifestation and they're not really, you know, talking about the whole picture. They're not painting a full picture when it comes to manifestation, because a lot of people will just say like, oh, you know, like you focus on your thing and like write lists and this and that. Yeah, but like if you don't get your mind right first, it doesn't fucking matter what you do. It's not going to work. I know from personal experience, it doesn't work. I can't manifest, you know, really, really awesome things for myself if there's this always this underlying fear, if there's always this underlying worry or underlying self doubt. And I noticed that um, lately it's it's like creeping up, right? And, and ever since Saturn went uh, retrograde a couple days ago in the sign of Pisces, I'm really noticing that because Saturn is one of those like kick your ass kind of planets. Like it really is going to shove things in your face that you need to see that are 
you know, maybe uncomfortable to look at things about yourself that you didn't want to acknowledge in the past or things about yourself that you didn't want to take responsibility for. And that's what I'm noticing and I'm recognizing within myself is like, shit, I haven't been taking responsibility for the incessant negative thoughts or the incessant self doubt that that pops up. And then I asked myself this morning, am I controlling my mind or is my mind controlling me? And unfortunately, my answer was my mind is controlling me. Because every time those same bullshit thoughts pop up, I keep believing them and I keep entertaining them and I keep allowing them to to hover around for longer, even though I'm like immediately trying to push it out. Right. It still wants to, you know, come back in forcefully and just keep, you know, um, like talking in my ear and keep convincing me. It just wants to to stay on loop. And so I'm noticing that if I don't get my mind right and if I don't get a hold of my thoughts and and really take control of them and really just pay attention and and notice every single thought that is creating this feeling of not enough um, within me, like time, time is one of the biggest things I'm always like my brain and, and my shadow side is always obsessing over. So it's like if I'm always repeating these thoughts of like, I don't have enough time for everything within myself, then guess what? I don't have enough time for everything. I literally manifest that through just different ways, like in, you know, wasting my time, maybe, you know, doing something that could take five minutes and maybe it it took me an hour, like just one simple example, right? But you'll, you'll end up actually manifesting the thing that you don't want because you're focusing upon the thing that you don't want. And it's so freaking annoying (laughs) to do and to feel and to experience and then to recognize within yourself and like, oh my God, like I have to admit this now to myself that I'm doing this. I am creating my future. I am creating my present moments, every present moment I created. And I created that, like I said, with yesterday's thoughts and the thoughts from the day before and the feelings and especially the, the yucky feelings that I had, you know, two, three days ago. Those are what are continuously creating my present moment. So it's like, can I just pull myself out of that? Can I rip myself out of that way of of thinking and of existing? And guys, one of the hardest things that you'll ever overcome is your own mind. Okay, for each of us, I think our own mind is the hardest thing to overcome because like it's an inside job, 100%. And it's not something anyone can do for you. It doesn't matter who says what and how many videos you watch about manifestation. You're not going to be able to manifest until you get this and and understand that your mind and your thoughts and your feelings about those thoughts are what create your reality constantly. So where are you focusing? And I made previous videos about focus, but it's like I'm continuously learning and understanding how incredibly important that is and how really the number one priority for anyone who is trying to improve their life in any way or in any area, the number one that you have to focus on is getting your mind right and getting your mind aligned with the appropriate thoughts, which are then going to generate the appropriate feelings within you. Because when I have a thought of, oh my God, it's such a beautiful sunny day and it's like so lovely outside, it immediately automatically creates a feeling of joy, a feeling of happiness and a feeling of contentment or fulfillment in that second that I have that thought because I've observed something outside of me, formulated a thought about it and then formulated a feeling instantaneously about it. And the more I recognize that it's it's so connected and the more I see the steps laid out of how we are manifesting in every given moment with every thought that we have the more that I'm starting to align my thoughts and really it takes discipline guys it really takes discipline it's not going to be enough for you to just be like oh you know I'm going to focus on like having positive thoughts and blah 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 but inside you're still feeling like shit that's not going to work I know because I've done that too That doesn't work either. So it has to be aligned, both the thought and the feeling. And it's only going to get aligned through your consciousness, your choice, your paying attention, your willingness to have discipline to change the way that you think so that you can change the way that you feel so that you can change the experiences that you're having on a daily basis.
So that's my video about manifestation and what I've recently discovered about manifestation and how to really, really, truly get into alignment with the things that I want. And it takes discipline, guys. OK, so if something isn't showing up for you and you're being impatient about it, that means it's not showing up. and It's taking a long time because you're in and out of alignment with it. One day you're aligned, next day you're not aligned. One day you're aligned, next day you're not aligned. And it always depends on the thoughts that you're having. So the one last thing I'm going to quickly mention is illusion, how I really recognize that everything, because I've created it in my past, everything that I'm currently experiencing is an illusion because it's my past creation, right? And the only thing that you have is this present moment to create a better future, right? So in order for me to create that better future, I got to get into that space within myself now of recognizing that everything that I'm observing right now is actually the past already. It's, it's an illusion. It isn't what I'm necessarily going for or, or the direction that I'm heading. So in order to get in the direction that I'm heading and actually have things physically show up in my world, I need to understand that this is all an illusion. And the only thing that is real is the thoughts and the positive feelings that I have within myself and the trust that I have within myself to create an amazing life. That is what's real. So keep focusing on that, keep pumping energy into that, keep filling your cup with that thought and that knowing and that belief within yourself, and you're going to manifest the things that you truly want. So that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Please hit a like on your way out and subscribe to the channel if you are inclined to do so. And I'll see you in the next one.